Welcome biologists to this session where we're going to take a look at the mechanism of enzyme action. So just to remind ourselves that enzymes are globular proteins with a specific tertiary structure. Enzymes are biological catalysts and they're used in metabolic reactions to lower the activation energy. And it's important to remember that enzymes are not used up, so they can be used again and again and again. So that bit in the red box there is taken directly from the MART scheme and we need to know that definition. So this is what activation energy is. <clears throat> so it's the energy needed to start a reaction. So as you can see here, in a normal reaction, quite a bit of energy is needed to start the reaction. But if I use an enzyme, the activation energy there is lowered. So I don't need as much to get the, the reaction started, which is why enzymes can speed up the rate of reaction. Now enzymes work uh, by having a specific and complementary shape of their active site to the substrate. So the enzyme and the substrate bind together to create an enzyme substrate complex. This enzyme substrate complex then creates a product and an enzyme. So the substrate breaks up within the enzyme. So I then get my product and my enzyme. So this is a pictured example of this. As you can see here, I've got my substrate. It has a specific and complementary shape to the active site. It's really important there that you say it has a specific and complementary shape to the active site and not the enzyme. You get zero marks for saying it's complementary to the enzyme. We have to make that link to the active site. So it, the substrate is specific and complementary to the active site. It creates an enzyme substrate complex. And again, that's a very, very popular terminology there that you have to use in your exam. Very, very popular. And then in this particular case, my substrate is broken into two products and I'm left with my enzyme. Now, there are two different theories as to how enzymes work. We have the lock and key hypothesis and the induced fit. So the lock and key hypothesis, it's thought that the substrate has a specific and complementary shape to the active site and the active site is a certain shape that does not change its shape at all. Whereas in the induced fit hypothesis, it's thought that the active site changes shape slightly to accommodate the substrate. The active site here is still complementary and specific to the substrate in shape. However, the active site does change shape slightly to accommodate the substrate. So the induced fit hypothesis is thought to be more correct as there is more evidence of this particular theory. So that's everything we need to know there on enzyme action. If you've liked this video, please like, subscribe and share. Guys, good luck with your exams.